What up, world? What up, media? I am Dre Watts. This is Dre Watts Topics. Good morning to you, YouTube, and the whole entire world. Thank you for clicking on this particular channel and viewing this particular topic here on Dre Watts Topic, my channel. Thank you. I appreciate it. <clears throat> now, I want to talk about this topic, you know, because it's... Um, been running through my mind a little bit because um, I don't understand how a person can feel this in their mind and feel this in their heart, you know, and think negative towards somebody that is opposite, you know. And the topic is how can you enter into heaven with a prejudiced, racist mindset? How? Can you enter into heaven with a prejudiced, racist mindset? Now, we got some white Caucasian Christians, you know, on this earth. Um, people that believe in God, you know, white people, I mean, that believes in God. And white people that believes in Jesus, you know. Now... You believe in God, you love God, and you uh, believe in Jesus' teachings and stuff like that. But my question is, the ones that feel this way in their heart and think this in their mind, negative towards anybody that is opposite of you, you know, and there are some Caucasian people that feel this in their heart and think this while um, they go to church you know, and things like that. How can you enter into heaven with a prejudiced, racist mindset and you claim to be a follower of Jesus? You claim to be a believer in God. How can you enter into heaven with a prejudiced, racist mindset? How can you do it? How? You know, because all honesty, <clears throat> who taught you to feel this in your heart? Who taught you to think this way towards others that is opposite of you? That is black, Hispanics, Native Americans, Samoans, Japanese, Chinese, Korean, Jamaican, Haitian, Creole, Egyptian, and many, many more. Who taught you to uh, think this way towards someone that's opposite? Who taught you? And you want to walk in your church, you know, and feel this way towards anyone that has a black face that walks in your church. You know, how can you enter into heaven with a prejudiced, racist mindset? How? You think God accepts that? You know, you think God is okay with that? You think God will say, oh, it's, it's all right to feel prejudiced and racist towards someone that's opposite of you, white man, white woman? Who told you this? Who taught you this? This, this nonsense. Because all honesty, white people, Caucasian people, you start this thing. This is your thing to do. Feel prejudiced towards someone, you know? Because it happened back in the days of Martin Luther King and uh, Malcolm X days, and, uh, before them, Elijah Muhammad, before them, uh, you know, Back in the 40s and 50s and 60s and stuff like that. Even the 30s. Who taught you to have this racist, prejudiced mindset? And you claim to be a Christian. Who taught you? God does not accept that. God does not allow that. You know? God doesn't. You know? And all this white supremacy and things like that. You know? Because all honesty. <clears throat> Caucasian people. You think... You are the gods of this earth. You think you are the best knower. You think you are number one. You know, number one. Everybody else is beneath you. Because I was watching TV a long time ago. I remember what this white dude said. He said, we as whites are the superior race. You know? In all honesty, that is not accurate and that is not true 
You know? So, you go to church, you go to the Catholic Mass, you go to whatever Christianity uh, organization you, you go to. But how can you say that you is a follower of Christ? Jesus never ever had the thought or felt in his heart to be prejudiced, to be racist, to have hatred to, towards someone in his days that was opposite of him, how he looked. Because of honesty, Jesus was not olive of uh, complexion. Jesus was a dark-skinned man. You know, black man. Jesus had hair like lamb's wool. And it says in the scriptures, his feet was burned as fine brass. When he says burn, you're pitch black, not olive. You know? So, my question is again, who taught you to have a racist, prejudiced hatred towards someone else that is opposite of you and you claim to be a true Christian? That is not a Christian. That is devilish. That is satanic. You know? Yeah. True enough, there was whites at that time, Caucasian people in, uh, in biblical times. I think that was called the uh, uh, Mennonites or something like that. You know? And then so on and so on and the, the Saxons and, and the Vikings and, and whatever. Split up in different tribes. You know? Who told you? Who taught you that? You can't go nowhere in that Bible. You know, you cannot find it in the Bible. When it says to think prejudice and racist. And have hatred in your heart towards someone that is opposite of you. You can't find it in the King James. You can't find it in the New Translation. You can't find it in the Quran. Where the Quran is, uh, is basically for the, uh, the Muslims. And Islamic religion, or whatever, but you cannot find it in the Holy Bible. You can flip back to the index and say, prejudice, racist. Can't find it. You know? If you do find it, email me, drop a comment, and say, oh, I found it. And I'd be gladly to show you say, oh, I was wrong. But I can't see them holy books, them religious books, saying you have, you got to feel hatred and prejudice and racist towards someone that's different from you. And put racism that your race is higher than someone else. You know? Who taught you this? Who taught you? How can you be a Christian, a white Caucasian Christian, to feel prejudice and have racist uh, thoughts? You know? Or honesty. Ever since Donald Trump <laughs> made his little weasel way into the White House, you white folks are looking at non-white white people like blacks and Hispanics and Puerto Ricans and anybody that's not white. You're looking at it as a little different. You know? So, I just want to talk about that because um, cause it, it, I wonder... And I think about, and I say, how can you be a follower of Jesus, follower of Jesus teaching and believe in God as a white person, but you feel in your heart hatred and your prejudice and your racism? How can you do it? How can you enter into heaven with that type of mentality and that type of thought? How can you do it? You can't. God will not accept that. If you even try, please. Guys, you can't come here in my household with that type of thinking. No, you cannot. That is devilish and that is of Satan. You know? Yes. In all honesty, when he said, as I am, uh, as it is done, excuse me, as, as it is done in heaven, it also is done on earth. So calculate, calculate that what that means, you know. 
So, this uh, world today needs to kill that prejudice and racism and hatred. Kill that. Just like I said in a video I done months ago. I say anyone that feels prejudice or racist, you know, needs to go ahead and fall dead and pass away and don't bring up again. Racism, prejudice, hatred towards someone that's opposite of you, you might as well dig your grave and fall in and die. That is not tolerated, you know. Why do you feel that way, you know? Children, white little children, they can play with black little children. And they don't know what is prejudice or racism. They don't know what to so much be caught up in this. You pass that down to your children, you know, and they pass it down to their children. And that needs to stop and that needs to die out, you know. Now, true enough, I used to kind of believe in uh, separation, you know. I kind of used to believe in that a little bit, but that's not going to happen. Not in this 21st century. This, this so-called uh, black man today wants to integrate with whites, you know, wants to mingle and tingle with, with a white woman, wants to mingle and tingle with a uh, white man, you know. So that separation is not um, going to happen, you know. I think we and Hispanics um, or Mexicans, we are the three races that will integrate with white folks. Mingle and tingle. But I can't see a Native American person messing around with a white man or a white woman. Can't see it. Because Native Americans still got that thought in their memory. and say, I know what you've done to us. You know? So I shall not mess with you. Blacks, Hispanics, and Mexicans, we are the only, and sometimes Chinese, and Japanese, uh, Korea, so sometimes, I don't think Koreans, but Chinese, or Japanese, we, they might do it, but three main categories of race, race group, mess with whites, is uh, blacks, Hispanics, and Mexicans. And sometimes Puerto Rican. Yeah. But the topic is, how can you enter into heaven with a racist, prejudiced, mindset. How can you do it? You cannot do it. You know? You cannot do it. That prejudice and racist thought needs to die out. Anybody that feels that way, any whites that feels that way, you might as well leave this, this continent, you might as well leave this earth altogether, or you might as well roll over and die, because that is not tolerated. You know what I'm saying? True enough, the Bible just say, uh, Separate from separate the sheep and the goats and stuff like that. You know, true enough. <clears throat> but me personally, I don't have no prejudice or racist towards white people. Even when they done wrong to my mother a long time ago, you know, and I'm not going to explain all that. <clears throat> you know, I'm not going to acknowledge it or tell a story about it. You know. But I don't have no racist or prejudice thoughts in my mind. Because I have white friends. You know? I have white friends. But, it is true, some white people, Caucasian people don't have racist or prejudice. And they are Christians. But that sometimes doesn't stop them from being ignorant sometimes. You know? And that is that. <laughs> so ponder about that. Ponder and think about it. How can you enter into heaven with a prejudiced, racist mindset? How? Enjoy wise topics. I enjoy wise. You can post a comment about what I just said if you like to, if you like. But like I said, thank you for clicking on this particular
channel reviewing this particular topic of Andre Watts topics. I am Andre Watts, Andre Watts topics. I can't say it. Peace.